Hello my little pixies, hello collection, welcome to this guided reading today for the collective where we're just tapping into the collective energies and seeing what's been going on for some of you that need some extra guidance or some confirmation. So the spirit guide that has been coming through as of late the last few weeks and is still really present um, until now and probably will still be present for a while is the beautiful owl spirit it's like woo i just like hooted like hoo hoo hoot 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 i swear i did that <laughs> um so we have yeah the owl spirit and the moon spirit because the owl and the moon are coinciding uh, so we have the numbers 888 was prevalent coming through. Okay, so let's get in there into the message. I have written some things down and I've gotten some intuitive channeled message that's been coming through as well. So the owl spirit invites us to sit back and observe and remove yourself from the noise of life or simply just don't react to it so you may have you may be already be doing this for some of the collective you're already noticing that you're sitting back and observing you're becoming the observer um or for some of you you've been a little bit in the chaos you've gone back into the chaos and just reactivity of just being in the body like an, having a human experience and then you're just like you've caught up for a second then you're just like oh that's right I'm consciousness as well so I am the observer uh, so there's encouragement from the owl spirit to remove yourself from the noise of life however that may be so not responding just stepping back observing or even relocating I mean literally for me I've just relocated um, I've just come up to Cairns which was like a whole day train trip um, a whole day and night train trip to I'm staying with my grandparents so this is my granddad's shed and it's just a lot quieter up here it's away from everything um, and that's how I'm getting away from the noise of life so how that's like fits for you but also I am having to step back and observe more and not react um, just in the relationships that I have here which is basically just my grandparents but you know same difference so yeah our spirit encourages us to observe the self and any sensations that arise in the body so you know if we notice that we're being caught up in the drama of it and just and noticing ourselves react how we possibly normally would react just allowing yourself to feel all the sensations that are arising in the body like am i is my heart pumping really fast do i feel heightened do, do my cheeks feel warm do i feel tense in the gut or or am i shaking or is my breath constricting um or are you feeling really relaxed are you feeling open are you feeling like your breath is soft it doesn't have to be the latter so yeah, there's really a call to just observe the sensations of the body um, that arise in pivotal moments for you, whether that's bliss, whether that's uh, chaos. There is a call to slow down, reset, uh, yeah, slow down and reset and also doing some nervous system healing. So this isn't for everybody, although everyone can really benefit from it because with this day and age, Things are just always chaotic, like we're always on go mode, especially like with social media and just like expectations from other people, it's always just like go, 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 like not a lot of people live that slow life anymore. And I saw this thing, this post the other day 
on Instagram, somebody was, I can't remember the name of his profile, and somebody was saying like, um, studies will show that we apparently consume like 75 gigabytes of data a day and that's through like social media watching movies and everything else in our life and that's like so much apparently because we before then it was like such a, a vast difference I can't remember now it was like before then we only consumed like that much in a whole year or something whereas we're consuming that much in a day and our nervous system is constantly like responding to the outside world and to that so it's taking in so much yeah so there was a channel message to reset your nervous system and do some nervous system healing there's lots of videos out there there's lots of techniques breath work vagus nerve um breathing meditating there's like what do you call it um somatic release therapy or you know there's yoga there's lots of things i've written here observing gives the opportunity to see what others miss so stepping back and going into that observing energy allows you to see things more clearly see things that are going past other people's heads um, or even that's gone past your own head there was a message coming through that was saying conserving your energy until the right time so if we're just like in those situations and we're just reacting reacting that's not really like conserving our energy or we're like constantly consuming like social medias or things like that like that's not really conserving our energy uh, so I've also written here to observe and not be amongst the chaos allows you to see things for what they truly are people's true motives and hidden truths and that's what the our spirit is helping and guiding us to be illuminated right now for some of you that's already happening uh, for some of you you need some more guidance to be prompted to step back and observe um, because there's a whole transition happening at the moment like there's upgrades for a lot of the collective and it's a whole like a timeline shift uh, where we're becoming more of the observer and like even more so than we were and not intellectualizing it when now observing and then having like our intuition is becoming clearer clearer because the our spirit is also heavy on intuition because it also works with the moon spirit which is the feminine the i don't know which one it is yin or yang i should know that yeah so it's the yin energy the feminine the dark the intuitive the emotional um and i feel like that's really actually prevalent because like there's a whole shift at the moment i mean for so okay we're, we're going on a bit of a tangent but for so long earth has been operating in a patriarchal patriarchal society very masculine and completely subsiding the feminine um and this has caused so much destruction and chaos and reactivity and i feel like with this whole shift like that's what's coming back like the feminine is coming back and i felt this for a long time and it's also also really prevalent to the book that i'm reading which is called the third advent i'll put the the name of the author if i remember up here it's basically talking about like the holy trinity and yeah how the feminine was cast out and it's caused this whole big chaos yeah it's not like all kind of correlates it's such a good book already like i've only read a few pages but already it's just okay so that could be a message for some of you guys need to read that book that brings me into my next point here letting go of outgrown versions of yourself parts of yourself or parts of your life this could be people this could be places this could be things this is like you will know when you step back and observe you will know what's not serving you for some people it's for some of the collective it's letting go of people relationships or dynamics or 
bad habits for some people that have been like a coping mechanism to protect you and keep you safe for some people it's just like a mindset a negative mindset or it's just like holding on to um a story that you've been telling yourself constantly oh i have this i suffer with this or whatever you will know so that's where we need to use our discernment because discernment also is a key word and the our spirits coming in to help us with that as well yeah so something that's been well overdue needs to be skedaddle needs to be get gone out of here yeah something needs to be well removed and let go of uh it doesn't serve you anymore so it's like a huge message i'm just saying like it does not serve you anymore it did serve you once before to protect you keep you safe but it's not doing that anymore so we that's why like when we're observing and we're realizing the sensations in the body the thoughts that we're having like the unconscious thoughts that we're having like these protective mechanisms that's where we can change it that's where we can really observe it and be like okay i see you thank you feel it through and then let it go because it's not serving you anymore so i've highlighted here don't react to it like when this coping mechanism this safety mechanism arises not re reacting to it but instead acknowledging it and change the direction of it to break the old pattern i've also highlighted here for some people it's letting go of people who don't resonate with this new version of yourself anymore and i'm not here for like oh yeah cut this person out cut that person out it doesn't have to be like that drastic it can just be like you don't you sort of just keep things you know you don't go out of your way to be like you want to hang out and talk because you know that you want to talk about other things and they're not going to understand it and be on your level and it's just like acknowledging where that person is at like not no shade to them but it's like just acknowledging where they're at and then being okay with that where they're at and also not pushing yourself to continually be in these dynamics where you're not really feeling served to your highest good because you can't even fully express all that you are or this new version of yourself so you take that how that resonates and how you want to go about pulling back from these types of relationships because you don't just have to fully cut out but obviously if some if there's people who are toxic to you and you know they're toxic to this new version of yourself and you don't want to be there well then definitely that's where you're like okay you know what i'm grown i'm up here now i'm sorry like some people they just stay down there it is what it is so we have a message here to go within and trust your own inner guidance so observing is to go within and innately trusting your own inner guidance and your own journey to trust that you are exactly where you need to be and affirming that to yourself like I am exactly where I need to be and trusting in your journey uh, taking away from this comparison for some people because that's so that's really big these days you know when there's so much social media and things going on in other people's lives so trusting that you're exactly where you need to be on your journey and it's perfectly created for you and learning to enjoy where you're at and not just being like oh, one day i'll be like one day one day one day one day just like enjoying where you're at trusting that you're here where you're meant to be right now and it's purposeful and it doesn't mean that this vision that you have for yourself isn't ever going to come to fruition because it's not happening now because it's not supposed to happen now where you are right now is where you're supposed to be okay so to trust that you are exactly where you need to be and don't listen so much to what everyone else feels you should do to heal um but do what you're called to do in your own way so like there's lots of techniques i even mentioned techniques at the start but you don't have to take that on board you can sit with yourself and be like how does my body want to heal how do i heal and really honoring those needs of your body like if you sit with your body and talk to your body 
it responds to you it tells you what it needs it tells you how it would like to hear like what are you feeling you know your soul knows the way so your your soul knows the way the way that's perfect for you the path paved is already perfect to you be where you are on it and be be where you are on it and be okay with being there and not fixating on the destination so trusting in the plan for your soul trusting in the plan of the higher divine of of god and yeah your soul's path there's also illumination on your shadows at the moment so we already talked about like observing the shadows could be these old patterns people you run back to things you run back to and the owl spirits coming through to be a guide to help you work through these so work through your shadows and your fears and the darkness with grace and compassion it doesn't have to be a big scary thing it doesn't have to be like oh my god i can't believe it it's just like it is what it is you are what you are life happened the way life happened and created these shadows within you to heal and alchemize to awaken you like it just is what it is so approaching that with grace and compassion for yourself and the owl spirit is there to help guide you with that um, and is with you to help initiate working through and piercing through the darkness and when we pierce through and we trans transmute these energies that's where at the end of the tunnel is the light is the happiness is the knowledge you gain more knowledge from observing and you know obviously you're not just like in amongst it you're observing so you're getting more you're gaining knowledge okay and i don't know where this analogy was coming through but it was coming through so i'm going to share it um it's about like a dark room picture a room that's fully dark and then a room that's fully light when you open both doors the the shadow doesn't overshadow the light the light pierces into the dark room so somebody needed to hear that analogy and then we also have a reminder here that says do not deny yourself the pleasures of life enjoyment and healing can coexist in fact joy is healing open your heart and embrace all that is so also at the moment there is a collective an opening of the heart i'm also coincidentally wearing a lot of green today <laughs> heart chakra energy um so yeah opening your heart to the joys of life and that kind of ties into what i was talking about before i think it was like about being where you, being okay with where you are in your journey right now uh, so you, you can have joy in that it doesn't have to be like a strenuous project like process you're allowed to be a human you're allowed to just be a human and just enjoy life and this human experience but i feel like there's an oscillation at the moment and it's okay like they coexist and it's of like opening your heart to the joys of life having the human experience but also being the observer and not allowing yourself to get caught up in the chaos in the drama and yeah be that observer and in doing so like it's so healing you realize more the magic of life like the magic of life is coming back to some of you in so many ways uh, for some of you I'm hearing especially out in nature like heart chakra like mama earth green magic of nature like I'm out in the like so in the tropics like there's so much nature out here and I'm just in awe again of life like I really am there was a pawpaw tree in the backyard and there was pawpaws growing off it I'm just like wow amazing I love that you know because back at home all I was seeing was pawpaw is just in the grocery store but I see it on an actual tree now and it's just like so exciting <laughs> and then I, there's so many butterflies like gorgeous butterflies and birds calling and it's just magical like magic is coming back for a lot of you guys and 
allowing yourself to open your heart and feel that is going to help transmute these old energies that have been keeping you stuck in a loop. So I mentioned like the entering the new timeline. So I have written here, entering into a new timeline of abundantly fulfilling all your needs. So this whole new time, like this new timeline shift, I feel like is going to happen no matter what. You don't really need to do anything. It's not like a hard, strenuous process. Like you've done the hard yards, you've done the healing, you've done so much going into the darkness. It's more just so like you've done all this healing. So now step back and observe move through it open your heart but no matter what this timeline shift is happening and that can either be with ease or it can be chaotic and you know resistant so you don't really have to do anything just honor where you're at observe honor use discernment and open your heart let it flow let it be free and just let go okay letting go can be hard i suppose but it's when things have not been right for you for a long time like these old things that have outgrown just let them go just let them go it's like a rotten fruit on a tree and it's like it's like it's fallen off the tree but you keep putting it back and gluing it back on the tree like stop it stop putting the rotten fruit back on the tree <laughs> like let it let it go let it go let it have its own let that piece of fruit that was once a part of you or connected to you let it go and let it do its own thing let it disintegrate into the earth let it go through its own natural cycle of death like you're not here to save that piece of fruit okay <laughs> You're here to make new pieces of fruit. Yeah, so entering into a new timeline of abundantly fulfilling all your needs. And this time it's not from a place of lack or hyper-independence, but of a place of wholeness. So fulfilling all your needs. You will be fulfilling all your needs, not from a place of hyper-independence, not from a place of lack, but from a place of wholeness because you know what feels right, what makes you feel whole, what makes you feel complete. Uh, so we also have a call from spirit that says to reconnect with the spirit and your intuition. So some of you may have not have been connected to spirit much lately, but reconnecting with the spirit is so potent and important at this time. And that can literally be as simple as just praying and just saying thanks to your spirit guides and thanking them and asking them to um, help you or just be with you if you're struggling through something. Just connect with them, just talk out to them, okay? It can be that simple. There's a call to adapt to the current situation. So I also have written here, the answers will come. Reconnect with spirit, adapt to the current situation and the answers will come to you. I also had something randomly coming through in the middle of channeling. Um, it's the word limerence. I don't know if that's showing up backwards on here, but on my iPad, like a couple weeks ago, I was looking up the meaning of limerence because it was mentioned in a reading I was watching. And I was just like, oh, I left that up there. And then I went on Instagram and then I saw a post that someone had made talking about limerence. So I was like, okay, this if this isn't a message. So I will confirm that more with cards. Um, we can look into that more with cards. However, like if you are curious, look into what limerence is. I'll put up on the screen how to spell it, but it's like a state of being. So maybe for some of you, that's your toxic habit. That's your toxic trait. And really it stems from a place of like um, abandonment wounds, wanting to be chosen, wanting to be loved, 
wanting to be held so it's really interesting it's like a whole dynamic and you know a lot of our toxic habits actually majority of them come from childhood wounds and it's like you keep creating this scenario to to heal or get what you didn't get in childhood and it's like they keep these scenarios keep being recreated because it wants to close the cycle out so yeah for some of you that could be relevant there's a power of seeing beneath the surface and that's what the our spirit is here to help you with the our spirit is guiding you to explore more of the mysteries of life so we talked about the magic of life but i'm talking about the mysteries of life um definitely appreciating more of the magic but if there's things that you are like oh i want to look into that oh i want to look into this like mythology or this you know whatever it is for you don't hold back and just like fully delve into it explore the mysteries of life learn the history the mythologies the galaxies what the hell is life what the hell is this <laughs> like look into it um and a, there's a guide to uncover your hidden potential and a innate abilities so with all of this transitioning that's happening at the moment you are being like what this really is is guiding you more to uncover your hidden potential and your abilities that lie innately within you that you are always possessing and they have been reawakened and awakened but these old layers of like showing up in the world needs to be released so that these innate abilities can come to the surface and you can shine how you're supposed to shine and show up in the world and that is healing not only to yourself but to all that is also creative energy will be enhanced especially at night time so tune in to these intuitive insights um yeah and there's also a fixation on the sacral chakra as well that's our creative energy so if you can really harnessing and honing into that and not just like depleting yourself of your sacred sexual energy um from the get-go like if you know what i mean you know what i mean like when that feeling arises and then you just like use it yes pleasure is good like pleasures of life that's where we're at at the moment but also there is a call to harness that sacral energy let it build and then that goes up into your solar plexus which is your willpower your motivation your action and then it goes up into your heart and that's where your heart is expanded and then you can do things from your heart and then it comes out and then it's expressed so there's yeah expression of that creativity so really honing in on that and not just like depleting your sacred life force energy and just giving it out to toxic things i don't know maybe for some people that's um just really like low vibrational running back to someone who's not good for you just for the pleasure of it like it's not really actually fulfilling your soul it's draining you or just like going to something online to watch it and get that satisfaction and that pleasure that's not actually helping you that's not healing you that is depleting your energy and it's the total opposite way of where we want to go um it's also it's deceit and it's the devil if i'm honest so i you know some of you need to hear that yeah so basically we're going through a whole death and rebirth which is amazing but it's also it can be crazy, so you just gotta go with it. Uh, also, for some of you, Goddess Athena is coming through. She may be coming through to some of you, so looking into Goddess Athena and seeing if she resonates with you, if you would like to work with her, if if some of you are into that. I don't know, some of you might not be into that. Um, but yeah, call to her, work with her if you feel called to. 
and also just embracing your desire for learning without restraint or doubt like I already talked about this before seeking new experiences and knowledge from an open heart space and embracing new beginnings so that's where this old cycles are going to go and pushing through a little bit of that fear and coming through it in a place of an open heart and being like I'm here I'm ready for this new timeline I'm ready for these new shifts I'm ready for this new energy I'm ready to see I'm ready to explore more and see more and receive more yes so just going to touch base on some keywords for you guys we have wisdom insight guidance connect to spirit endings analyzing clear vision intuition discernment transition and isolation okay so that is what i channel for you guys with the owl spirit i am going to go further into this and to pull some cards and to see what else spirit would like to say to us i will probably make that um a separate video so i will see you guys in the next one okay guys so i'll see you in the next one Thanks for tuning in and good luck with your transitions. Goodbye, my pixies. Mwah.